A health first question today. Which is better at detecting breast cancer, a mammogram or an MRI? Leslie Toldo here now to tell us about a new study that hoped to find some answers as Breast Cancer Awareness Month continues on ABC 12. Well, and the MRI has been the subject of much debate. It sees more than mammograms do, but does it see too much? Just in the back of your mind, you always wonder, and the fact that it did run in my family, it was more, I was waiting for it to happen. It was a matter of when it would happen, not if. And I wanted to be on top of it as early as I could be. Which is why Sandra Sandrock wasn't comfortable trusting her annual mammograms. She read about breast MRI and how much more vivid the images are and wanted one herself. Getting one took work. It was an eye-opener that you have to be your own advocate and you have to push and you may have to ask several times um, to get the screening that you feel you need. After a lot of talking, she got her doctor to agree to a referral. Went in, of course, hoping that they would find nothing, that it would confirm what was on my mammograms. But it didn't. Sandra's MRI at Regional Medical Imaging in Flint picked up a small but aggressive cancer that her mammogram did not. Uh, three years ago, four years ago, we, were, we suspected that this was going to be a major breakthrough, and now I'm convinced of it. Part of the problem? MRI has come under fire because the screening is so sensitive, some doctors feel it picks up too many false positives. It's become more precise, just like new technology. It takes a while to use it, and they develop it just like with flying. You have aircraft way back in the old days that crashed all the time. Now we're doing extremely well with it because we've improved the technology, constantly revising it. This is the same scenario. Breast MRI has another plus. The vivid images can be used to guide biopsies with big benefits to the patient. With MRI-guided breast biopsies, we're able to find those cancers, mark it for the surgeon, and now the surgeon can go and get that cancer out with very minimally invasive lumpectomies and breast-sparing surgeries. Regional Medical Imaging is setting protocols for a major national study comparing mammogram to MRI. And doctors there do not discount the value of a mammogram, but they're excited about what this study could mean for the future of MRI as a screening tool. I'm concerned with saving my life, and the MRI did. It truly did. Well, uh, the American Cancer Society recommends that women at high risk are considered, or who are considered high risk, have MRI and mammograms. Only about 2% of women in the United States, though, fall into their criteria, and uh, some insurance companies are covering this MRI screening. We have more information about the study and, of course, the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer walk for you at abc12.com. It's so interesting to me, and so many of your stories is about someone who had to fight to get that additional testing or just had a feeling something wasn't right. You really, I've learned, if I've learned anything from all these wonderful women I've interviewed, it's trust your gut. Oh, that's usually the way it is for everyone, right? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Ellie. And she referred to uh, the walk coming up uh, in mid-Michigan. Weather's perfect for it this weekend. Should be. Right? Very warm. Plenty of sunshine. We'll have the four.